right fantastic good morning good afternoon and good evening uh, i think we've got uh, audience joining from different parts of the world uh, and thank you for spending the next 30 minutes uh, with us for some housekeeping uh, we are recording this webinar so um, you know you can you'll get a recording of this webinar after this uh, after the webinar and people who have not been able to join uh, they'll get this recording or you can pass this recording to your um, to your colleagues after the webinar is finished um, another surprise for you at the end of the webinar um, please ask lots of questions uh, uh, express interest if you would be interested in doing a POC or a trial of uh, the product that we are going to show you uh, we are more than happy to connect with you after the webinar uh, and happy to set up a personalized demo for you um, presenting today is my colleague Janesh he is the CEO of industry and a technology expert I'll get him on in just a few seconds and myself uh, I'm one of the co-founders at Industrility um, and very much an expert in in the industrial market um, so we'll be taking you through a quick um, introduction about GenAI all the hype that's going on in the market and we'll look at a quick product demonstration uh, towards the end so we believe there is a lot of hype going on about GenAI in the market we believe this is very much like a Kodak moment. If you don't transform your business, if you don't adopt this technology, you will very much be displaced in the market. And just like Kodak, that happened over 30 years. We believe the GNEI transformation is going to displace businesses in, a, in a, even a shorter period of time. So what, what really is GNEI? Generative AI, or a branch of artificial intelligence, is works very much like a human brain based on information that it has been taught um, it can now generate you know the, the key word being generate it can generate its own essays it can generate its own art it can generate its own music its own text its own videos and that kind of generation gives it a lot of power uh, to be able to uh, create value to its customers so think of it as a child, you know, you, you probably have, you know, a two year old or a five year old child where, you know, once you hear the first words from them and then over a period of time, it assimilates a lot of information and, and then suddenly it has this hyper learning and effectiveness because of the content that it's able to generate. Similarly, you know, once they go into engineering or industrial, you are now creating that generalist skill to become a more industrial and engineering skill set. And that is what industrial Gen AI does. Um, industrial Gen AI is very much about optimizing. It's about creating efficiencies in machinery and industrial space. It's about creating more reliable machine. It's about creating innovations. It's about creating these machines which are more safer. And we can do all of this with lots of data coming from sensors coming from erps coming from field service management system all of that coming together and really improving the outcomes improving the business models in the industrial and engineering space and that is where industriality operates industriality is very much an industrial software for machine manufacturers and making them more effective safer reliable and more innovative and this growth about Gen AI is not just us talking about it. More than 39% of companies are investing in Gen AI in the next 18 months, according to a PwC survey. This industry is going to be $7 billion. It's growing at a massive pace of 45% uh, over the next, next 10 years. There are some amazing companies which have already delivered fantastic use cases in the market. JLR, for, in, for instance, Jaguar Land, Land Rover delivers fantastic luxury, luxury cars. However, they have lots of different dealers, reps, and service technicians who need to work on these new cars, especially a couple of different mega trends impacting them, electrification of cars and new technologies, and, and also lack of uh, technical resources in, in this industry. Their uh, Gen AI based technical support is now able to reduce their guidance time for fixing from 
two hours to less than two minutes. That that is just fantastic from a client satisfaction perspective and faster fix. Klarna, which is one of the challenger banks, they are now able to use Gen AI to really uh, handle two thirds of their customer service cases, seven hundred doing wo work worth seven hundred people, and resulting in forty million dollars worth of profitability in just one year. We've got utility companies in Austria; they are able to take a photo of their parts and identifying what part to order, again, increasing efficiency in maintenance and also improving their outcomes. We've got Merck, which is uh, in the pharmaceutical space, and they are able to accelerate their scientific research and drug discovery pro uh, programs. It's amazing to see the innovations that is being delivered by all of these companies and the impact it's having on its customers. It is 2024. The Gen AI uh, growth has just started in the last you know, 12 months. Don't get left, left behind and start partnering with companies to really uh, iterate, to innovate, and experiment on, on this technology. Let's bring this to now um, really practical applications that really apply to machine manufacturers like yours. We've got engineering companies, which is taking idea generation and testing prototypes. We've got supply chain companies where we've seen RFPs are being created automatically with which Genria is generating the RFPs. We've got manufacturing companies who is using machine learning and and vision technologies to really design and improve their their manufacturing processes. Sales teams are creating personalized marketing content. We've got developers who are creating code at, at scale. However, industry leading is very, very much focused on after sales and service uh, improvement. And, and in that space, uh, the demos that we will look at is going to be very focused on after sales and service. We believe that going from reactive to proactive really improves the customer loyalty. It improves the customer satisfaction. Uh, creating intelligent alerts with IoT and also guided repairs really improves the fixed rates to, to be much faster. Personalized training and support for customized equipment really improves um, drastically the customer experience. Gone are those days where one kind of training and one kind of manual is available for all your 3,000 SKUs that you're selling. Uh, chatbots and customer service have been around for, for many years, but, ha but having self-service chatbots, which are as close to human behavior and, and fine-tuned for industrial and machinery companies is what, what we are all about. And so today, we'll go through a short demo and an explanation of how this can be applied to you. But for the moment, I'm gonna hand over to Janesh, who is gonna take us through a little bit about our about our company, about our product, and also about a quick product demonstration. So I'll welcome Janesh. Awesome. Thank you so much, Ajin, for a great overview of what generative AI is, as well as how industrial Gen AI is changing the way how we do business today. My name is Janesh. I'm based here in Seattle, Washington. And one of the you know, core benefits of generative AI is the ability to generate new content. Industriality is one of the you know, leading pioneers in the com in the industry where you can see we offer uh, after sales solutions for machine manufacturers, which essentially all the that man machine manufacturers can completely white label their soft our software and offer it to distributors, you know, you know uh, end owner operators or even your partners so that they can manage their entire installed base across across their in, in, um, in install base to throughout the lifetime of this equipment. With over 25 years of experience from Hitachi and Amazon and Honeywell and Rolls Royce, we know industrial data is messy. It's not clean. It is dispersed in multiple different places and fragmented in different data silos. So we understand industrial data really, really well. And we offer, you know, all the services as a turnkey platform, such as, you know, that 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 help you manage the assets that you have 
as well as you know, uh, the data that you have to offer to your customers. We have over 27 different applications, you know, one of which we will see today and we will focus on how generative AI can help you, you know, leap forward your current competition. Our platform is currently used by the largest boiler companies, largest hydrogen compressor companies and so forth that you can also take advantage of. So one of the underlining uh, bedrock of services are that are the main pillar in which why Amazon, why why industriality um, differentiates with all the other companies out there is its operational digital twin. O when I say operational digital twin, it means it's a virtual representation of your physical assets, and that that uh, that is that is that is unlocked after you sell a particular asset in the field. As you can imagine, there are lots and lots of different data associated with different types uh, of of um, you know of uh, formats available. So you will have warm warranty data, you no know, training data, real time telematics data, images, audio, video, content, maintenance history, service data, et cetera, available. One of the key differentiators of industriality is we assimilate all the data associated with all your assets and we build the operational digital twin of your particular asset. This data is now cleansed, available for generative AI, and, 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 and have the ability to essentially you know, ask natural language prompts on top of this data. This empowers your service technicians, uh, to ask any questions and converse with your actual physical asset um, in 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 uh, you know virtually. So let's go and understand what um, and how do we do it, and with a, with a with a, with a demo as well. But before that, you know there is a term called GPT, which is called generative pre-trained transformer. This is a unique deep learning model, which essentially has the, is known for its ability to generate text from its previous, uh, human-like text from its previous text. Now you can also do with, as Achint mentioned, about images and audio and video. So you can see uh, how you can interact with your own data up related to that particular asset. We have launched and we are very proud to launch one of the industry's leading, you know, you know digital twin industrial gen AI platform uh, application called uh, Twin GPT, which basically is a fine tuned model for the on the industrial data. Fine tuning in this context uh, means that we have taken the pre trained transformer data uh, or, or, or models and applied the industrial context on it and looking at all the different data streams that understands the nuances of industrial data and, and again further train the model to make it more specific towards your data and securely storing your data and making it available to you so that you can apply natural language text, natural language prompts on top of your, your, your current data itself. So we have built a model which essentially helps customers, you know, take all the data associated with their digital twin, feed it back to the, the pre-trained models and answer specific questions that you would be able to answer, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, that, that, that the model will be able to answer for that particular um, uh, asset, whether it is, you know, uh, questions associated with the service technicians, whether it is, you know, um, scanning thousands pages of manual information or real time telemetry information or IoT data or even parts list. One of the key things that Achint mentioned is how you can empower your, you know, how you can empower your service technicians to uh, to ask questions quickly and get answers quickly. To, so that you can you know, uh, fix the problems that he has on field, uh, as well as get all the information about your asset at your fingertips without you know any any um, any hassle. So 
with that uh, further down the year, let's go into a demo to understand. Imagine a, a service technician of a large manufacturer. A manufacturer has hundreds and thousands of different models available. They have several, you know, inst there are several machines out there on their installed base, you know, in the field. And you know, this service technician can be either, uh, you know, uh, uh, in-house um, maintenance uh, crew of the customer. It can be a service technician of the distributor. Or it can be a, a, a you know a service contract technician of the manufacturer. All of them would you know are uh, can have now access to this information available for their install base for the asset. He goes out to the to, to the to the field and would like to you know get information about that particular asset or what has gone wrong with that asset as well. So I'll switch towards uh, our demo. And as you can see, you know, this is our, you know, white labeled platform available. We make it a look and feel of, of the entire platform can be customized towards your look and you know, your branding. And we offer variety of different applications as, as we discussed earlier from different sites. We will pick, this is our demo site. So we'll pick one of the, you know, you know assets uh, let's say a compressor, which is out there for, for this service technician to go and visit. And as he's visiting this field, he is able to scan a quick QR code on the back of this machine, quickly pull this up on his mobile phone or on his, on his, on, on his tablet and see all aspects about this asset, including the timeline, all the documents and manuals, and including all the parts list available. We are able to see all the different you know, features available and we'll jump right into you know, the twin GPT uh, model. Essentially, as you can see, you will be able to, uh, you know, your service technician will be able to ingest any type of data in real time available and all the data that, that is associated with this particular asset available in, in, um, at, at, his, uh, no, at his disposal. Now, because we have built the twin GPT model, which is pre-trained on the industrial data for your specific you know, data set, we can ask national language questions in simple, easy terms so that your, you know, your technician can fix the problem quickly, right? So the goal here, imagine if there is a large um, you know, a document such as parts list uh, that, that, that will be there, or there will be, you know, variety of different you know, hundreds and uh, hundreds of documents, hundreds of pages of documentation from your operational manuals that are you know buried with different types of technical knowledge that is out there like alarm codes and so forth. Or it could be maintenance service technicians or maintenance in checklists that needs to be performed on on the, 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 that on daily and monthly you know, uh, checklist itself. With that in mind, what we can do, let, let's assume one alarm code came in. So you can say, what is, let's assume an alarm code that sort of you know, popped up in one of the HMIs inside the, uh, operate, in, inside the operator, uh, uh, operator screen and this uh, compressor. He can say, what it does alarm code, um, a, alarm code ALM um, no, 203 mean? He doesn't know. And he does not have to even remember or search or any of the details associated with it. And it will automatically you know, pick up the right text, understand the industrial context and, and, and find out the right information um, available for specifically for that you know, alarm code. He doesn't have to go through and learn and have to be you know, you know, experienced about it. The, the industrial uh, GPT or industrial you know, uh, Gen AI has been pre-trained on all of these data sets. So you will be able to also assimilate all the data and find out how the information can be you know, you know, correlated across variety of different doc documents and, and offer that solution back to the customer. So here I can say, how do I... Uh, I as a service technician um, uh, fix it. 
So it will automatically understand the context that I'm talking about, the alarm code uh, 203, and it will give me a step-by-step -step instruction after looking at all the different assets out there, uh, all the different documents out there and understanding the context of it in a very simple, easy, straightforward way so that he can you know, quickly fix the problem as well. Let's assume he does not have time for this. Uh, he does not have, you know, he knows part of it and he wants simple information quickly. In this particular context, he can say, you know, explain um, to me um, how can I, um, now explain to me uh, in five, uh, or let's say just, just two sentences, of you know, 10 words each because I have very, I, I need quick answers um, for these same scenario and I, I, I don't have time for doing this. So it, it will understand the scenario and it will exactly give you, or you can say things like, explain to me like I'm, I'm a 10 year old and it will go through and say uh, all the details associated with you know, traffic light you know, and give you an analogy about, hey, the red means, you know, red traffic light means this, or green traffic light means that, et cetera, right? If, if you would like to kind of go in and also go and say, like, you know, please uh, translate uh, this in Spanish. You don't need to have um, hundreds of languages available um, for your specific uh, manual. You can simply uh, live translate the above text uh, in different languages and it will um, it will uh, uh, automatically translate uh, the about text or the uh, give me an, give the answer in a different um, setup uh, in different languages as well. So as you can see, you know now we can you know, translate these to different documents and provide that information in a very easy and simple way for that particular document as, as well. And as you can see, the you know we can we can associate all the different context of your specific asset available and your particular information at available in your fingertips and we can show you the information that is relevant to your particular asset and real time information as well right the last but not the least because we have data available about your parts your you know, service maintenance history and so forth so imagine if you have all different types of parts, part numbers and part description and part pricing and whether they are available in, in, in stock uh, or not, you know, your customers will be able to quickly find out and say, okay, uh, let, let, me, let me refresh so that you can see, you know, all the data that has been now ingested automatically will be available at your disposal uh, related to parts. So now I can say, now, what is the um, uh, oil uh, part number of the oil filter? Um, and it will uh, look at the bomb of this particular uh, bill of material of this particular uh, asset, uh, figure it out what part you're talking about, and also able to find out what is the, the part number. Based on this, you can also have you know different scenarios on saying what is the part number, what is the price of uh, of the of OLF you know 101, um, and it will pick up the price from the parts list, the real time price information, and uh, it will determine whether is this in um, is this in stock, and it will figure out all the complex you know parts list and it's available in stock as well, all looking at the current data by simply having a natural language interface by converging with your actual digital twin of that asset. Now imagine you can, you know, uh, hundreds and thousands of documents that are out there from daily maintenance logs, service history, you know, timeline information or location of that asset all available at your fingertips in, in, in a very quick way to fix that problem. You can also have information about your previous service history of what went wrong, and it will summarize this text for you 
uh, for understanding now if it's a long big document it will summarize it for short as well as generate content so they can save time on field by basically focusing on simple easy ways of you know uh, of generating the report so that they can spend more time fixing things versus you know doing the admin work as well so we feel by offering an industrial data fine-tuned model for your specific data is going to be a key differentiator uh, towards your business as well, and you can offer that you know, premium service to your customers. So what you just saw was a service technician out there in the field you know, getting information at his fingertips, getting recommendations of maintenance and other how you can fix a particular newer maintenance task, you know, as well as get all the information associated with the digital twin of that asset, you know, um, you know, to fix the problem quickly. We feel, you know, that this is going to be extremely powerful for not only your service technicians, but also your end owner operators or the or your in house maintenance crew of your customers who create a a great brand and 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 increase your customer loyalty. So with that, I would like to pass it on back to Achint to say, if you are interested uh, to do this, how, how do I get started, Achint? Can you please um, uh, help us understand to, so that you can be, you, you don't get left behind and also get uh, information um, uh, for your specific data quickly? Hey, Jinesh, that was that was a great demo. I mean, I think not only can it improve the service technician's sort of experience and improve faster fix, it can increase customer self-service. I, I, I think that was great. And I think all of these was possible with humans, but the fact that you can enable live translation, you can scale this in 50, 60 countries in real time. So I think all of that was fantastic. And I think what we've learned from B2C companies is if you make it, if you make it easier for people to buy parts or service, the conversion significantly improves. So I think we could see that also. So I think that was fantastic. So if anyone wants to um you know get a poc or a trial um please reach out to us uh, we can you know bring bring your data into our context and and then um, enable this for you in you know in a matter of weeks so please reach out to us more than happy to um uh, happy to take that forward i see there were a couple of questions that came through so let me let me bring that up and and Jinesh would be great if you can help answer that i think you partly covered it but one of the questions was how can we use AI to improve uh, part sale uh, as a manufacturer? So maybe, maybe I mean, we covered a couple of things, but if you can add some more context to it, that would be great. Absolutely, great question. This is our core focus. We believe that you know, if you empower um, the manufacturers, if we can empower the manufacturers to increase their after sale revenue, parts and services revenue, through a, and 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 also help sell more genuine parts and service throughout the lifetime of this equipment we um, we win as well as our customers win so how do we do it is we leverage you know, the the complex um, parts list the bill of material data the availability the stock information the 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 uh, in fact we also take the the internet of things telemetry data and and uh, focus on which alarm codes uh, ha are you know, faults or alarm codes that come out of those in, in um, uh, those telemetry and translate that into actual parts requests that the, if they have to if uh, if ALM two zero one came in they have to change an oil filter and this is the part number for that so we take all this data we pre train our model focused on that data set. And, ans and and make it available for the specific asset and the model that the customer is uh, offering, the customer is um, is owning. So so this makes it very easy as well as for the end owner operator because we do all the groundwork, we secure your data, we focus on you know all the infrastructure uh, that is required to to run these massive amounts of machine learning as well as we we uh, offer a turnkey platform so that customers can take advantage of you know in in any any language they want etc. 
Fantastic. So I think we are at the we are, we are at the top of the hour. I'll I'll take one one last question and then we'll um, any other questions. Please feel free to send us an email and we'll we'll be more than happy to happy to address them. One one last question, Jinesh. If um, if a customer, you know, it, let's say I've got I've got a couple of people here from uh, compressor companies and also um, hotel equipment companies. If if they want to um, get started with this, you know, what sort of a IT infrastructure do they need? What sort of people skills do they need? What sort of timeline do they need? You know, how how big is this? How how big is this? Because you know, Gen AI sounds very complicated. You know, AI sounds complicated. I, it seems like I would probably need ten engineers to build this. So he, help me understand what what does this journey look like? Yeah, so that's a great point. And and what we have seen uh, is that. Uh, one of the best ways in 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 artificial intelligence um, exp, you know, um, and providing that is to go dive deep as well as go quickly. Um, you will take anywhere between you know ten to fifteen engineers, you only know, data scientists, you need application programmers, you need data engineers, analyst, uh, analysts to understand and clean your data. And 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 make the data available for your artificial intelligence uh, products. What we do is we take all the muck around related to ADA, related to you know infrastructure side and, uh, and uh, look, looking at the cloud computing side or artificial intelligence, and we you know securely store the data in your own virtual private cloud and ensure that your sec your data, which is your core differentiator. Is available. We are a SOC two, uh, type two, um, you know, um, secure company to to ensure that all the data and the processes are are maintained in the right way. And so, instead of taking you know eighteen months to get started with your data in our in in you know, using Industrialities um, you know turnkey platform, you can let, essentially start this in less than two weeks. You can provide us the data. Um, you know, try it out, you know, free, and then also get that confidence that is required in in an, in artificial intelligence, which is iterating quickly. Artificial intelligence technologies get better with time, just like old wine. You you have to you know you know iterate quickly, you know experiment, and then you know and, and then focus on the impact that you are creating using the technology itself. So That's you can great. cut that eighteen months in less than ten days uh, or for seven days. You know it's it's worth a try to understand the potential it will create for you. F fantastic. So eighteen months to to two weeks and fifteen engineers to you know uh, just a partner to to kind of accelerate that. That's so that's 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 fantastic. Thank you so much, Janesh, for for doing the demo and taking us through the presentation. Thank you, everyone, for joining this joining our webinar. It was a pleasure to have you on uh, on our webinar today, and look forward to seeing you again. Have a good evening. Bye bye. Thank you.